Welcome to another WorkNC Tips and Tricks video. Today we are going to talk about recalculating retracts with toolpath transformation. In our first scenario, we have a toolpath that has a symmetrical area on the part. We want to do a toolpath symmetry transformation to place toolpath over the symmetrical area. For this toolpath, pick the XZ plane to mirror the toolpath. We have some options to recalculate toolpath retracts and links between toolpaths. These options are checked by default. This is exactly what we need to do when there is surface data to be avoided and checked for collisions. Let's apply the symmetry and execute the modifications. By keeping the recalculate options active, we get a collision-free toolpath. Let's suppose we want to transform some toolpath for a second part that is on the machine, but we don't have data for it in the work zone. With Toolpath 2, we can do a Toolpath Translation Transformation. We will leave the Recalculate options active for this example. I have data in the prep side of WorkNC that represents our second part. If we turn off the toolpath display and have a close look at the retract and approach movements, we can see several collisions. These collisions occur because WorkNC doesn't have any surface data to calculate the retracts against. To resolve these collisions, let's restore the initial toolpath and run the transformation again. This time, we will deactivate the recalculate options. Here, the retract and approach movements were not recalculated. We have a safe toolpath that is a duplicate of the original. You should now have a better understanding of when and when not to use the recalculate retracts options under toolpath transformations. As always, we hope you found this tech tip helpful and would like to encourage you to explore all the available WorkNC tech tips.